we're going to do some calculating with perpetuities. And some of this stuff actually applies to interest-only loans because they're the same thing in, but in reverse. So a perpetuity, you put money in the bank, and an interest-only loan, you take money from the bank. Again, this is from the 2018 uh, past exam paper. So Julie has retired from work and received a superannuation payment of 492800 And she's got two options. I'm just going to show you option one because this is the, the first part. So she's so going to invest in a perpetuity. Uh, which means the final value is going to be exactly the same as the initial value. Now, your problem uh, with these perpetuity questions, uh, these perpetuities, is um, often that it's very hard to calculate them uh, on your calc on the financial solver because you don't often know the final value and the first value and blah, blah, blah. But um, when you're doing the annual interest rate percentage, you can just remember that the difference, which is your payments you get, is R over 100 uh, times V naught. Or another way of looking at it is your payments equal the interest rate over 100 times your uh, principal, which is your present value. So if you just hit your calculator uh, in the main section, you can do this quite easily. So rearranging that formula, if we take the payment and we divide by the uh, 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 present value, and then we times by 100, because we want to make percent, and then we times by 26. Why? Because it does say in here uh, fortnightly. And you can see I've done that here. So that's the payment divided by the perpetuity, times by 100 for percentage, times by 26 for fortnightly, and I get 4.68. Now, you don't have to do this uh, for this question, but I just want to get used to that formula because if you have to work out how much you need to invest or something, then the financial solver won't help you. All right. But it, on this one, you can do the financial solver, which I'll show you now. Now, this is a perpetuity, and what freaks people out is like, what's my N? It doesn't matter, because remember, uh, when you're doing these things, uh, it stays the same. Um, if you need to work out your PV and your FV, that can be a bit tricky with interest-only loans and perpetuities if they don't give you that, because that's two blank values. Uh, but just stick the values in your calculator. Uh, Present value is minus 492,800 because you're giving the money to the bank. Um, the payments are positive because the bank is paying you, and your final value is the positive amount because at the end, uh, at the end here, the bank has to give you back the money. And then all you have to do is press the uh, the interest rate button, and it will pop out the interest rate correct for you. Don't forget that it's 26 or fortnights on both of these. And there you have it, you, your calculator, uh, your $200 calculator is uh, making its uh, value worthwhile and it's 4.68% uh, per annum. So remember that they did actually want the annual interest rate and so you would say 4.68% PA. Don't forget the percent, don't forget the PA. Uh, we've gone to an annuity now. And this looks like a job for the financial solver because it says compounding, which I, it just immediately makes me think financial solver. So into our financial solver, we take the interest rate and place it here. Uh, we take our value and place it here, negative because we're putting the money into the bank. Uh, it tells us the balance will be uh, this number, positive because that's still our money. And we put in 12 and 12 because it told us about compounding monthly. And then you might be thinking, N, what do I put for my N? Well, the first year, at the end of the first year, uh, it's going to be up to 12 payments because there's 12 months in a year. And we press the PMT button and we get this lovely value, which of course we write up as 2,800. Now, it does say in dollars, so we don't have to do the two decimal places. Uh, and if we did, it'd be 0 0.00. Uh, don't worry about that tiny little bit at the end. All right, so now we need to know how much interest would Julie's annuity earn in the second year of investment. Um, this looks like a job for the financial solver and also possibly for the Liam trick. Now, we were told at the end of the first year we had this value. So all we've done is we've shifted the final value up to the present value. And again, it's still going to be 12 months. So from the first end of the first year to the end of the second year is 12 months. Okay. And so then we can press the FV button. 
and we do get the final value of 467131.1363, uh, which, you, you know, 0.14 uh, might be a nice rounding there. And using the Liam trick, uh, we say 0% here. So basically, this is with the interest because you've got your uh, 4.32. And over here, we have the without uh, interest because uh, we put the zero. So the difference between this one and this one must be your interest. And so if you subtract those, you'll get your interest payment. Liam will also tell you that you could actually just type that into your calculator there. You don't have to go to the main section. Um, so that's another trick. And you will get that value. So just to remind ourselves what we did there, uh, we took the 467131.14 minus the 4466422.25. And that equal, I'm going to put it down here, 2488.89 to the nearest cent. Uh, you might get slight rounding errors depending on what you do. Uh, the exam answers actually allow 0.88. Okay, remember it did say round to the nearest cent. It depends on whether you did how much rounding you did over here as well on these things.